please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, Ejo, e subscribe, subscribe, eh, hete. Face TV. Uswobi. Yes, so today is the 3rd of September and um, I'm still on Oshid Road. Um, where we're still um, having the investigation and fact finding, private investigation and fact finding on what killed Mubad. If there is any clue left behind, and um, you know, this is a, uh, an effort to assist the government and the police. You know, if there is any vital information that we think. Uh, we can help them with and of course all this is going to be done under the ambit of the law and discreet human rights protection so i am trekking on the road i just left kuramed and the and the facility opposite kuramed that has cctv so i'm trekking to mubad's house now so that for you to know that it, there is close proximity it's trackable and of course there is no way anybody will not know that there is a hospital called Kuramet there because the signage is very obvious and they have all the signs and even illuminating signs even at night to show that the hospital is there so we just have to get a proper detailed investigation and detailed information to know the veracity and know who is complicit or who is liable or call people so like I said today is 3rd of September 2024 this is a pharmacy Mahami pharmacy and store just one step outside mobile street that is the store you can see all you can see now that is a pharmacy there and that is Mubar Street where I'm going to be entering now so I'm doing this so that we can know if truly he was in excruciating pain his hand was bleeding everybody know you can go to the chemist pharmacy to to get some drugs to do some first aid you understand but, is stating that they left this street here to the pharmacy which is another stone throw as you can see i'm taking you so I'm, you can see this is the street the king's court phase five you understand well done, bro. so i am walking into the street that will take me into mobas street you guys can see so nothing suggests from all those witnesses those around him then that they went to the pharmacy very close by to pick up drugs or to pick up anything to alleviate or to stop the bleeding or to stop the pain since the nurse is not available on the 11th and i just left kuramed i spoke to the hospital management and they gave me full details insight and deep analysis of what transpired this as you all can see this is the street this is mobile street yeah can you see now for yourself can you see the pharmacy that i showed you i didn't cut the car so and that is mobile's house down there i'm going to now so that's that's another angle that is the camera that is the camera in front of Mubat's house under the roof these are the two cameras here this is a camera at the entrance these are the two cameras here now this is Mubat's house this is 3rd of September 2024 so those two cameras those two cameras we need to know if they're working but they will of course be working and the house is still under locked and key so this is um 3rd of september 2024 so i'm still here 
we're still, you know, having some fact finding and to get some clues that will help the police, help the government to unravel the cause of death. So I think this is also very crucial. And this is about, um, what's the time now? This is 12 past 2 p.m. on the 3rd of September, Tuesday, 3rd of September 2024. So, this is the third day of the investigation. And I know surely we're going to find that missing link, that clue that will help us. So, let's, let's keep our faith. Let's keep trusting the justice system. Let's keep helping the justice and police system. And let's, if you have any information, if you have anything vital that that could lead to to unraveling the cause of death of Mobad, please do not do not hesitate to share this with us. Please, please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, and your subscribe, subscribe, and hit it. Face TV, Muswobi.